sad. I never mentioned fucking snowflakes. Better ring to it than SJW. Because snowflakes are only two syllables. Well, SJW is three letters, which makes it three syllables. I, that's only four, isn't it? Huh. SJW, yeah. That's four syllables versus two. I've cut my syllables in half using the word snowflake. It just sounds cooler. You have no objection. Millennials are a generation of whiny little snowflakes, but we all know this. This will going to ruin it for everyone so much that, uh, but God, their children are going to ruin it for them because they're the June generation. They're the generation who, at childhood, are already taught to segregate themselves by classification and age. They look perfect for corporations. It's been a while, as you noticed, on this channel. What? YouTube. Go fuck yourself. You guys have, uh, well, castrated me for the last time. You shut down two of my channels because of censorship. Yeah, I put porn in there, but put it like a age restriction on there. But nope, nope. You assholes have to fucking, with your high and mighty algorithm set to fucking SJW, it's like, are you hiring Facebook fucking assholes or something? What the fuck? This channel will continue to do interviews of conventions, and that's basically what this channel's gonna be for now on, because I can't have my fun or show anything I wanna show on here. Shut up and get to the point! I'm relocating. I have a new channel now called Don't Watch Mojo. As you can tell by the play on words, uh, you can see why I call it that. Uh, all that other stuff will be on here. Uh, Daily Motion. Or hell, I even have a Gab account. Gab.ai. Gab is an ad-free social network dedicated to preserving individual liberty, the freedom of speech, and the free flow of information on the internet. Whoa! Sounds fucking great! Where do I sign up? And it's all Nazi. I, got, I want there mainly to troll, because it's funny. Doesn't this cafeteria have a no fags allowed rule? Oh well, yeah, they seem to have an open door policy for assholes though, don't they? I think Alex Jones is great, you know what I mean? <laughs> no bullshit, you're just a neo-Nazi. <laughs> I like what you have to say about SJWs and vegans, but you should also bring up trannies too. Animal cruelty is a first world problem, something only the rich and privileged have time to worry about. I once dated a girl who tried to push her vegan shit and I had to spill it out to her like that. I had to say, hey, I'm broke, I can't afford to buy your expensive vegan shit. This is a first world problem only rich, pampered, upper rich class white assholes can worry about. What did you say, dickhead? <sighs> I'll repeat myself. Veganism and the trans thing is a first world problem that doesn't need to be our problem. I'm waiting for kinfolk to be the next thing for them, but whatever. Oh, snap. Put aside the, the racism, sexism, misogyny, homophobia, xenophobia, all the, the, the witch's brew of, of awfulness. Movie Bob, you're a fucking SJW cuck boy. You're a can't beat them, join them SJW. Good, worthwhile people must resist this and fight it to the best of their ability. Bag, uh, world class bullshitters, and geeks and gamers. Get a life! People are so fed up with it. So yes, when people like myself and world class bullshitters... If you saw Solo last weekend, and let's be honest, you probably didn't, you know that it's not the worst Star Wars movie ever made, but it's the lowest opening in terms of the box office. With just $143 million worldwide, Solo shocked the world with its limp debut. Hey Lucasfilms, Kathleen Kennedy, Ryan Johnson, I told you so. Maybe Solo can make a comeback, right? Wrong. Fans never really wanted to see a Han Solo movie. When you know everything about someone, when you have all the secrets, you're like, all right, well now I know. On to other things. And that weird brony fucking, um, Miss Anthropony. Remember that interview I showed where I asked why Akbar was killed off just so he can be replaced by a woman? Well, that's because Kathleen Kennedy thinks that in order for Star Wars to relate to a more massive audience, you have to put a bunch of women in them because apparently, Kennedy seems to think that girls can't like Star Wars because they can't relate to male characters like Luke. And therein lies the problem. Do you know what we call people who think girls can't like Star Wars because they don't think girls can relate to the story and the characters? We call them a Doug Walker. Yeah, because that's what girls watching this show are really into. Star Wars! They go so hand in hand, I'm surprised Lucas didn't release a more feminine version with Serena doing Darth Vader. Did you hear there's a new Sailor V video game out? I saw it on TV! You're, you're a fucking idiot. Kathleen Kennedy is feminism incarnate, and is quite possibly one of the most sexist people that I've ever heard of. And as a result of her influence, The Last Jedi is quite possibly one of the most sexist films that I've ever seen. Oh my god, dude. You've said it best about what Kathleen Kennedy has done. I, I agree with everything you have to say. 
I just think it's funny that a brony had to fucking put us in our place. Yeah. And uh, there is uh, it. So yeah, um, to see more of my adventures, go to this new channel that I'm relocating to. And for more interviews, that will be continued on this channel. Unfortunately, well, I'll be going to Comic-Con. I fucking hate Comic-Con. Uh, hate those people. I end up, like, going, I end up, like, meeting the most worst type of people there. Check out our Patreon, and link in the description as you can tell, and, uh, support our cause. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, or I will scratch your eyeballs out. So yeah, millennials, your sellout mentality has ruined it for your children. Congratulations, you have, you have commies for children.